As you might know, I've uploaded a video some time ago about the OnePlus One battery issue, and now a lot of people are facing some touchscreen issues. I've tried to do a little bit of research and investigated it, and this is what I've found out. For me, the problem started occurring some weeks ago, even though I have this device since September. I woke up and my phone suddenly felt laggy and unresponsive. The problem was coming and going, but now it looks like it is here to stay. The issue results in a very slow scrolling speed, something like an input lag when using the touch screen, as well as ghost swipes, ghost touches, and a decreased responsiveness when touching the screen quickly, for example while fast typing. Sometimes while typing I have to hold down longer and with more force so that it recognizes the correct letter. This issue exists on every OS you put on your phone. I've tested it with CM11S, OxygenOS and CM12 Nightly, which I'm using as my daily driver right now. It even happens on TWRP, so I was sure that it's a hardware issue. I read something about a grounding issue back in October. So, the grounding issue describes the problem with the OnePlus One's touchscreen, which happens because the flex cable connecting the screen and the motherboard has direct contact with the metal frame or is only isolated by glue. This leads to a grounding issue and results in a weird touchscreen behavior. Someone tried to fix it on its own and succeeded by isolating the flex cable from the metal frame. However, this requires you to open up your device and even the screen up, which is very dangerous, as you could break the screen while doing this. That being said, you will also lose your warranty, so an RMA request won't be possible anymore. So, normally only the glue is between the cable and the metal frame. I was wondering why these touchscreen issues started happening for so many people at the exact same time, as it can be a software issue, of course. So, I read something about putting it in the freezer will temporarily fix it. I did this for 5 minutes and this made the issue go, at least for a couple of hours. It appears to be temperature related. So now my thinking was that the glue melts in hot conditions and starts the grounding issue I mentioned before. If it's cold or you put your phone in the freezer, the glue becomes solid again and separates the flex cable and the metal frame as it should be. Also connecting a USB cable or headphones to ground the device does not work as people reported, at least not for me. So only because you connect your phone to the charger won't fix the issue as you might read on the internet. So why does everyone have to issue at the same time? I think it is because of the time of the year. We have spring now and it's getting warmer. This heats up the device and even if the process might be very slow, 5 degrees can make a huge difference in 2 weeks. That's enough to let it slowly melt so that the issue occurs not immediately but after a delay. Also, someone reported he was facing his issue since he traveled from the Netherlands to Dubai. Of course, it's warmer there, so the device heats up, the glue slowly melts and the touchscreen issue occurs. So I think that I found the reason for this issue. It will even get worse in summer, but might disappear in autumn or in winter. But of course, I don't want to have a phone which I can only use in winter. So what's the solution to this? Someone wrote about disabling double tap to work and gestures to fix it, but I have it disabled in CM12 nightly, all the time, and still occurred. If this doesn't fix your problem, I have to tell you there is no permanent solution to this. Unless you want to lose your warranty by opening up your OnePlus One and then tearing the screen apart, and you don't want to put it in the freezer every hour, you will have either to live with it, or to fill in an RMA request or wait till winter. Hey, you could also start living in Canada or Iceland so that the glue stays solid. Of course you don't want to do that, so I have to tell it this is a major flaw in the OnePlus One's design and leaves the device for many people useless as it is annoying and makes scrolling and fast typing impossible as touches won't be recognized. Also there might be some multi-touch and ghosting issues too. I would fill in the RMA request if I were you and I hope that uh, OnePlus responds as fast as possible. However, you have to wait one month in order to receive a replacement device, it, but it's the cheapest and best solution right now. I have no idea if the problem will be fixed or if uh, every single OPPO device is affected, but uh, I think we will find out soon. If so, the issue might occur again with a replacement device. I hope to get some information from OnePlus about this issue and I look forward to having a solution which makes my OnePlus One like it was before and like it should be. That's all I can tell you for now. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and tell me in the comments for how long you have your device for, which OS you're running, if you started facing the issue and if you live in an area where it is substantially warmer or it got warmer when you started facing the touchscreen issue. If not, feel free to also comment as this is only my theory and might not be true for everyone. Thanks again for watching.